Phase after footy? Um, yeah, that's a good question. You know, I've, I've played professional footy for 16 years, so look, I think initially, you know, I want to finish off the season really well, and um, you know, the last you know six games see it as six opportunities for us to improve um, as a group. So initially, after that, I, I think I need a bit of time off, and obviously got a pretty young family, and you know, we're going to get away and have a bit of time away. So, and I guess in the next couple of months, I'll, I'll work out what that looks like for me next year, but the club have certainly made it clear that they'd love to have me around, so really appreciate that. You know, what that looks like at this point in time, I'm not too sure, but, you know, I guess over the next probably eight weeks, you know, 12 weeks, that we can we can sort through that and I'll, I'll get a bit of a clear understanding of what I'm going to do next year. Coaching something that interest you over? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look, I've, I've, I've done a few courses and I've obviously worked pretty closely with some of the young guys here, so, look, I've got no illusions that I need to improve um, in a lot of areas if I am to become even assistant coach so I think I need, still need to learn, I probably need to do tick off a couple of other things before I throw myself fully into that um, but it's certainly something that yeah, I can see myself doing in the future. Was it true that you were talked out of retirement last year or did you that No, look I think I was probably pretty close to retiring last year just in terms of the sort of season I had with my body and um, I think I made the decision that I was going to work really hard in the, in the eight weeks off and, and over the off-season to give myself every chance to... I, th I think I knew deep down that I had some good football left in me, um, but I certainly wasn't talked out. It was always my decision. And as I said before, the club's always been really supportive in terms of that. Are you glad you played on? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, to play under Richo, you know, I can see that he's going to be a really good senior coach for a, for a long period of time. Um, and, and obviously we've got some really good young talented guys in the room and you know a bit of experience as well with Schneids and Joey and, and Rui and guys who I've played a lot of football with so I'm yeah, certainly glad I played on. I mean I love the game, I'd love to keep playing for another three or four years because I, you know, I see this time in the club's history has been a really important one and we've certainly got our challenges and I'd love to be at the forefront of that but unfortunately you know Father Time's probably caught up with me. Um, but yeah, it's a really exciting time to be at this place. We've got, our, we've got a lot of work to do, but I think that's exciting. And when I sort of started my career at St Kilda, we were in a fairly similar spot. And as I said before, I was really proud of what we're able to do as a group of players. And I see that, um, that opportunity for, for all the guys standing in the room to be able to do something really special for this place. Is it nice, sorry, is it nice that you're playing against when you're old coach Ross Lyon this weekend, does that add anything to uh, the world? I think Ross has always said there's no sentiment in footy. Um, <laughs> no, nah, look, I mean, he, he obviously had a massive uh, impact on my career, along with probably Grant Thomas. Um, yeah, so I mean, we'll catch up at the right time, and I think by making the decision now and making it public, it just gives me a bit of time to thank people in the right way, so it's not rushed, and I'll be able to get around to the people who have had a big impact on me and, and thank them properly. You're playing Glen Archer game one, wasn't it? Yeah. What's your recollection of that one? Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, oh, I guess afterwards I thought, well, it's probably not going to get any worse than that. So, um, yeah, he got me a beauty right up the middle and took the wind out of me. And he came over after the game, made sure I was OK. And I think more so to make sure I didn't, uh, wasn't going to get him reported or anything. Um, yeah, but I guess that was a bit of a baptism of fire. and. I was a bit disappointed because it was up in Sydney in front of all my mates and they were just giving it to me after the game, so they still mention it every now and again. But, yeah, it's just, I guess, one one thing. And when you start your career, you get thrown in the deep end and I guess it's how you respond. I think I responded pretty well. Your toughest opponent over the journey? Um, toughest tag was probably uh, Brett Kirk. Just, you know, incredible endurance, um, really disciplined, really hard to get a kick on. Um, but the one guy I probably looked up to was Solomon Black really respected and admired the way he went about it and just his level of consistency over a long period of time. He was really hard to play on and they really admired him. Was the Rover a chance to move clubs anywhere else? Or you nah, I think I was too, too old and too slow by the time free agency came around, but well, I never really entertained it either. I think the club's always been um, really good to me and I've always sort of signed halfway through a contract. I think you know I've been pretty fair and reasonable to them in terms of what I've asked for money-wise and They've always been pretty good to me as well, so I think it's been a really good partnership over my whole career. A lot of champions standing in front of you that you played with along the way. Any stick out Oh, you know, it'd be unfair probably to single one or two out, but I think the teams that 
we played in, just everyone you know, played their role. And I guess guys like, you know, Robert Harvey for me was someone who I idolised growing up and to be able to play alongside him for, for a long period was fantastic. And, you know, a guy like Rui who's just been an absolute out-and-out -out champion. Um, you know, I've been really blessed really to play with some of the greats of the, not only this club but the game. Um, you know, you could throw Milne in there and, you know, Stevie Baker, Joey, Schneids and I think it's unfair to just mention a few because it was so many. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I don't think they really listened to me, as I said before, when I said low key, so, um, yeah, I think Mum will be happy with that one, but, yeah, that's about it. Lenny, this club's copped a bit of flack in recent years, are you confident that you know, success is not too far? Yeah, absolutely. Like I touched on before, I'm really confident with what's going on inside the club. I know people tend to look at the wins and losses and, and think that you know the club um, you know, may be doing it really tough. And, and yeah, we're, we're not happy with where we're at. And I think that's a sign that um, you know we've got a lot of improvement in us. And I think the people in position of power at the club in terms of Pete Summers and Matt Finnis and obviously Richo as well are the right people to take this club forward. And I see a really hungry young group of players that really want to stand for something and build something. Now, it's going to take a little bit of time, but we're all really committed to it. And I know the senior players who are still here are really committed to it. So, and I've seen how quickly it can turn. You know, we're in the same position in 2001, 2002. Two years later, we're a kick away from a grand final. So it can be done. And, um, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to really enjoy watching them, you know, and I'll, I'll always be a Saints man, that's for sure. Do you expect to play every day? I'd like to, yeah, as long as Richo keeps picking me. But <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just see how the body's going. But um, you know, I missed a, missed a week, a couple of weeks ago. So I feel pretty fresh now, so we'll just wait up as we go along. But yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping so. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name? Uh, Hunter. Father Sunrum. Um, yeah, well, I guess he qualifies, but um, yeah, we'll see how he goes. He doesn't look too interested at the moment. But. <laughs> He loves the cameras though, so <laughs> see how we go. Any more, guys? Huh? Well, might wrap it up there. Um, so we'll just have a quick photo opportunity just out in the ground. Um, with Lenny Tarr and Hunter, and we'll leave it at that, so thanks for coming. Well done. <laughs>